How's it going, everybody? So my name is Nathan Harris. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Ease. So we built a predictive freelance management system that helps companies gain access to highly screened on-demand remote talent. One of the biggest things we realized when we were building this company is that many companies are having a problem with the war on talent. They're not able to get people where they want them, and a lot of people don't want to live in a specific city. They don't want to lose 10 to 20% of their life sitting in traffic, or they don't want to pay the high cost of living associated with places like San Francisco. So we wanted to create a solution for them that was scalable and easy for them to adopt. So one of our biggest partners is Steelcase. Uh, we met them actually one year ago today here in San Francisco. We were working with one of their dealers, One Workplace. Um, they realized that the workforce is evolving. People don't want to necessarily work in office, and they collected data to actually back that. And we worked with them to create a solution that creates a process that works both online and offline for them to work efficiently together. In their, in their case, they were looking for CET designers. These people have to design 17-story buildings, and it's very, very detailed. So the process had to be very, very finite. And one of the benefits that we realized early on, and I'll go through the process of how we got to this point, was a lot of things. So we know that there's a 31% benefits cost savings right away when you're using remote talent. And a lot of times these job postings, they're sitting up for 90 days because a lot of people don't want to go into the work that they're getting into. A lot of things are such of these designers are getting burned out because they're understaffed and they're not having enough productivity. So when we give them freelancers, we increase that productivity by 21%. We also increase their retention. And then the cost of turnover is reduced as well because those times when there's some, somebody does leave the job, you have that huge gap that somebody has to pick up the slack. So for every freelancer we staff for them, we were saving on average $24,000 uh, for each person and we were able to increase overall experience for their customers as well. So this is an example of what this looks like, but you can say dealer on this one, but for you it could just essentially be department or whatever. And you essentially come to us and we come up with a process that works for your business model. It's not like your other traditional platforms where it's like, hey, let's grab a freelancer and see if it works. We're actually gonna build a, a process and design your dashboard to match that as well. And this is what gave them access to those CET designers. And many of those designers have different characteristics. So every single one of them, they take a psychometric cognitive behavioral assessment. Individuals aren't all designed to work remotely. They have to have a certain thought process. They have to have a level of organization. And if they don't meet that criteria, then they're not meant to work on our dashboard. But once we understand also your internal team's processes, because we also require you to take those same assessments, we can match those people to, with the management style of your employers. Um, and then they could submit the jobs. So now you're able to have your system set up, you can submit the jobs, and our dashboard will actually suggest talent in our system based on how they match. Because we set up a number of ranking criteria, and the algorithm is very effective in that manner. And you can pick from three, four, five, or ten people, depending on how many you need for your team. And then from there, that project is live. They're able to work with your team members. You can actually see who's working on what, what stage the project is in. You can track all of your invoices, everything in one centralized location versus grabbing a freelancer and then figuring out where are they every day, what are they working on. Um, and a lot of these placements, we weren't just small placements. These are longer term deals. You know, these projects and these buildings take years or, or at a time, so they're $70,000 a year jobs. And that's what makes a freelancer happy because th there's a feast or famine that they have to deal with every day. We charge about 20% placement fee, just like a recruiter, and they're still saving at 24,000 after they pay us. So it's not like we're eating up their, uh, their profits. Uh, in, the, in the case of one workplace, they actually generated revenue because they actually charged the salespeople for that designer's time. So they were making money uh, in the end as well. So our average commission for a one year placement is about $14,000 a pop but we're still creating an efficient process that helps everyone be able to grow and scale. So one of the things that we're gonna offer uh, today to anybody that wants to sit and talk with me or ask me any questions is, I'll walk you through a consultation, I'll walk you through the process of how it actually works and how we actually create a customized and tailored experience uh, for your business model. So that's ease, and if, not, if you have any questions, please let me know. Question. So, ha, ha, sorry, I'm over here. <laughs> Do you specialize on specific roles or types of freelancer, and um, how do you recruit? Yeah, so we do specialize. So 
our starting point, we start off with marketing freelancers in the beginning. We actually adopted the CET process with uh, Steelcase, Configura, and a number of dealers, and we didn't have any of them before. But the best part about our team is we all started off as growth marketers, so we built a process that allows us to recruit talent in a variety of different ways. But one of the biggest ways is we partner with HR conferences, um, the biggest being HR Transform in Las Vegas, where we get a lot of talent and partners that come from that. And then how are you different from Field Glass? Not familiar. Um, I've used it, but y you're quite different. <laughs> <laughs> it's another conversation that we can have. So how do we know our talent is the right fit for your team? That's where those assessments come in. You know, we really want to work with you one on one. We don't want to just, you know, have it be one of those short lived opportunities. We want to work with you, understand your process, and then we can match them. Thank you. Thank you.